Hello guys! In case you're looking for a way to bring, you know, nuclear warheads to a knife fight, I will show you, like, in a couple of videos, what is good stuff to do. Like, there's many combinations, and I kind of thought about how to do it, but I think the best way is just to outright uh, pick something that is good and play it until the point where it comes to fruition. Unless it's something that is super late game, then I will, you know, just build it up and then show you the end. So here, this time, we're going to show you Kirko Celestian. Kirko has the best hero to power level. It goes the best simply because you have the Kirko Assault Vehicle. That means you come with the Abyssian and the Regeneration mod. That means you can solo almost every camp right off the bat. And if you solo a camp, all the XP goes towards you, in effect, punching you through the levels. Now we take Veteran to also start a bit faster. We take Military Detachment because it's just so good on Kirko, it gives you Transcendent. And then we take Decadent. We take Celestian because we are looking for the level 8 hero skill, which will allow us to mind control. And if that unit survives the battle, it will become Population. And that's massively important because population wise you basically even if everything is running smooth you are limited to one growth per turn He's but here you, you can grow 20 population Earth. a turn if you have three fights that you can do in rapid succession emotions work but let me say that wrath and vengeance do not lead to salvation. now of course you know they i know you can have 10 cities 10 cities and then you. that's 10 population per turn but i meant it for a single city As always, when soloing, this here should not be a problem. We should be able to do that right off the bat, but we can't reach it. Huh. What's this? What's this? This is a bit much damage. I would probably do this one with the fly. Do I need to do it with the fly? Yeah, they, they are kind of staggery. This is stagger, 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 and this is also stagger. When soloing a hero, you're mainly looking for what can actually stagger me. But city-wise, we have a nice spot, right? This is forest, forest, forest. It's We have four times forest, so this is going to be a badass production city and now we kind of need to we already know something is gonna fly over here so we're gonna have a look here this looks kind of weak and pathetic we'll probably just run over them at a later point what's this it's again triple stagger and a transcendent to boot Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous stuff. Okay, but this is our fight. And the army... I mean... I would be willing, yeah, well, I'm gonna do it next turn. And you build me a fly. Doesn't one turn it, then we take the energy instead. Now here we need to see, see the red one. And the settings are of course moderate. Let me see here if these dudes. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. I mean, if they want it like this, sure, I take this for free. Enemy 
be destroyed. And the reason we do this is to maximize in case it goes wrong. Like, I would like to go here, but we can. We could go here. Yeah, that should be fine. Because look, you don't need line of sight if you do this. Ah! Does he need line of sight to jump? No! <laughs> Okay, but we finish him off. Oh, that might be our end here. Oh no. Good. He was low enough so that he runs. But they only run if you don't have too many um, units. Enemy down. Here we get a nice flank from behind, almost one hitting him. Yep. Enemy destroyed! Enemy destroyed. And that should bring us to level four. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. And we are taking Watchman and Shrouded Step. Bam, done. Mm -hmm. This is something we can technically do by ourselves. But we would need to be lucky for that. Because the first round, basically, they're gonna arc power blast us, which is high impact stagger. That means we're losing all our precious, precious turns. And if all three of them hit, it could get kind of bad. You know what? So, oh yeah, uh, sh this shit here. Coco demonstration, like, unless I l lose everything here, like, this is not what I want to show you. So I rather autified it. Perfect. And that's uh, because I split the stacks. Pretty sure. Didn't lose anything. Beam rifle, not too bad. Take reward. <laughs> can try to get that here, but you just chill here for a turn. Now we kind of need to decide. Oh yeah, I can do this with the fly. It will take XP away from the level up, so it should not be too much of a problem.
Now we have the option, but I think this this one is better. We're gonna do it like this. Let's. I want to see how much damage we deal in a raw shot. Not enough. Well, not enough. It's quite a lot, but it's not a one shot. So. In case it is. What debuff did, did you give me again? Crippled. Hunt little fly. Hunt that swine. I think I'm just gonna send her out. So are we finally not crippled anymore? Huh. We got freshly crippled. eliminated. Not much to say here, right? Let's just safely finishing this match. Enemy eliminated. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. Deny the wicked. All around awareness. Red specialist. All right. Guess we're doing this fight next. Meh. See, I even forgot about that. We might have had. Stagger resistance ready. Alright, you guys didn't find anything too useful for me. 
I will let them rest one more turn for this one. I'm telling you, if I go in... Okay, all right. It's not too hard a camp. If I go in now, it's, I think, gonna rain losses. See? As you do this more and more, like with autofight and stuff, you're gonna get a feeling where the autofights are trying to leech units off of you. Maybe I can. Okay, show me again what that was. Looks perfect. To me. Now we are stagger resistant, so even if they gank us, we can just walk out. I'm a lazy fuck though. This is not how you should play it. Operations ready. But yeah, basically you can now always, you know, tunnel out. Huge help. In where they can jump, but it's not endless damage. He's gonna run anyway, cause he's low. And they have numerical advantage. What? You swine. Enemy eliminated. I probably finished him, but... Ah, uh, now he runs. See, I told you he's running. You were supposed to do that last round. As you can see, as you grow in power, this becomes easier and easier. Enemy down. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. That's another level up. Right, wonderful. Now the second thing you want is the engulfer. Uh, that means we want the research slapped on. Uh, we can take either one of them now, but I think I'm going to take this one. In case you're lagging behind, you know, you start with the upper... Oh, yeah. Level. Our hit chance is kinda weak, huh? So we're gonna, I guess, fix that now. Or of guidance. We'll fix that, and the next fight will put us on level. Okay. Meh. It's mine. <laughs> I 
don't want to manual fight this. Come on, just... One frenzy I give you. Alright. We are in agreement and then I just take the reward and... Killer Beetle is now ready to go. We're waiting one turn here. I was kind of thinking this, but I think we can do this and then this anyhow, and then we can do that the next turn. Give me that. Of course, we are now turn 5 instead of, you know, usually you do turn 3 to 4, level 8, depending on what you get, but we spawned in the thickest of forests and couldn't fight turn 1. So we got kind of cooked there. All right. Operations ready. I shouldn't do it like this, but I'm really lazy right now. I don't want this to take forever, simply. I know, I, I take my risks as they are. Normally you just Enemy killed. Oh he had absorbed pine out? But well, who was it? Show me if that swine can reach me. It can. But you see, right? It's not too complicated to do this. You just bring them to one side and then go all the way to the other side. Ugh. Why even? I take the eighty. Okay. Enemy eliminated. Been and now this is where we start going crazy. Right, we have... Like, this is not too u unusual. We have... Oh, I didn't take the factory, but I didn't really need the factory anyway. I do need the research. So, first thing we, we have it, and then next... Come on, give me a re- uh, Come on, this is piss easy. Piss easy. How could you lose that? 
Come on, this is... It doesn't get any easier. Operations available for priming. This was the one I... Oh, there was stuff on it, actually. I didn't see here. Okay, but keep in mind, right? You would normally... I'm probably just gonna... Let them stand there. If you want to maximize... The other army... I'm confident that you know how to do it. Very nice. Is this is a ravenous. Can he kill me in one hit? I don't sit. I don't think so. Everything non mindless we can take. Mindless is simply immune to it. So we're gonna check now what can we take. What can we not take? Can take the bike. Yeah, well, the rest definitely. Okay. Ah, he has. That was a mistake. You can't just hit me, boy. Now he's sober. 100% mind control. Done. First one. And the enemy likes to ignore mind control units because you know it's your units, but sometimes it doesn't. Operations available. And then this happens. Jesus. You crazy fucks. I offer you my body. Yeah, way better. Where's the white thing? There it is. Right, you bring him out. Freed successful. Wonderful. What annoys me the most? I think it's him. Here. Mind control 100%. Hello. Yeah, they ignore it. Like they're supposed to. You can see plenty of strategy is involved here. I'm a wee bit scared Enemy subverted. that that swine is gonna kill him, like really wee bit, but retreat successful. Subverted. Our forces are victorious.
We don't get any XP for that fight, but what we did get is for colonists. See? Four of them. And when we do this next round, it's gonna be another five. And then you pop out a colony somewhere and then you do the same, right? See the, all these fights here? You have to think in terms of population. That's four, eight, too much. No, I'm kidding. Fourteen. I'm thinking, should I do... I think this... You should be getting the idea now, right? Now you make these cities and the priority is of course happiness because you're pumping out citizens so insanely fast and then like just in a turn right just like we did we were like on four of now we were on five population and now we're already next thinking about another sector right so what do we take well we know rivers are basically useless to us so we're just gonna annex that here And then, yeah, we don't need that anymore. So we do it kind of like this, maybe, maybe like this. I have to be careful though, right? So, recreational building it is. Maybe a few more turns. Yeah. I'm not 100% on this fight though. I can do it. I think so. No, this is wrong. This is production one. And then we need another production. I guess we would t make this here production. And then this energy. Yeah. This is a production exploitation. Okay, I'm gonna leave the rest that is this as it is. There's no guarantee, like, I don't know 100% if I can do this. Regardless, we will try. Kind of a phase out, you know. Worst case, you bring a fly over and then you can always do it. Or you wait for the engulfer, because once you have the engulfer, you know, you're flying over the battlefield and then this dude can't do shit. Operations ready. I mean, fortunately, this shit already didn't hit me.
Okay, this will come down to this 53%. Uh, I think if I have it, it's okay. Okay, we're fucked. We're fucked. Ooh! No, it's the fucked. Okay. He doesn't stagger him. Blind him! No, I made a mistake. I should have run further with my fatty. Now he might die. Leave fatty alone. Is this melee overwatch broken? You beast! Retreat successful. Enemy subverted. Who is the boss now? <laughs> No, Fetty! This is important food for us, uh, stuff for us. Just get out of here. Retreat successful. <laughs> That's the next one we're gonna get. Is it? Oh no, it's already. Uh. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe you should take him, but nah. Enemy subverted. I'm not sure if they're not gonna blow him up now, you know what I mean? Oh, good. All things considered, I would say it wasn't even a close fight. I was like so much, so much leeway still. 
Totally nothing could have gone wrong here. Retreat successful. doing that attack cause like sometimes if you don't do anything oh wait uh, I don't 100% I don't get it but how do we dislodge these two now hmm I'm gonna think about it after taking him home Enemy subverted. maybe this will already be enough to split them up successful <laughs> enemy subverted Successful. I literally almost ran out there in full autopilot. Enemy subverted. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. So six units taken. And then this is just the capital. Turn seven and we're late. It could have been turn five or it could have been turn six. We are gonna run into uh, like happiness problems, of course, but I think the advantages are quite clear. Like, basically, the next fight will more or less cap it out, and then Once it caps, you know, everything else goes to the next colony, you can think of um, doing all your colonies basically instantly at maximum population. So if you're fighting, for example, a multiplayer against a dude, right, he still has his, like, five or six capital, and then everything else is extra production he doesn't have, and not only that, all the sectors, right, I mean... We are on four sectors now, next fight we, we are on five sectors. What can you really do? And then this here will be the next settlement. You just uh, make it a colonizer and so on, you know, 
slap it somewhere near Cosmite, for example. Well, I wouldn't go all the way over there, but maybe here next to the dwelling and so on. Well, that's it. I hope this helps you out win some matches.